Let's go. We're going to Geometry Land is where we're going. Yeah, it's something like Candy Land. It's super exciting. Okay, so like I said, I'm the only one that didn't teach this lesson yesterday out of all the geometry teachers. So I'm going to rush through it a little bit. If phones can disappear, that would be awesome. I'm going to rush through it a little bit because I think you can handle it. And we're going to do this lesson and then part of another. So just pointing at this picture, if the segment goes through the center of the circle and it goes all the way through having an end point on each side of the circle, it's called a what? A diameter. If it's half that length, it's radius. the radius. So this is a radius, this is a radius, this is a radius. So we have three in here. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Radia. Okay, and then let's see here. This is new to you. A central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of a circle. So angle C, P, A. This is called a central angle because its vertex is at the center of the circle. Can you name another central angle besides C, P, A? C, P, B. Uh huh. Angle C, P, B. Because this is an angle with its um, vertex at the center. And what did you say, Adam? Yeah, it's the same thing. Well, A, P, C is the same thing as C, P, A. There's another one, though. Yeah. P B. P B. or P B A. Can you guys just get settled back there? A degree angle. So A P B or B P A. It doesn't matter um, how you call it. That's a hundred and eighty degree angle. Yeah, it's a hundred and eighty degree angle. Okay, so that's a central angle. Okay, this lesson is about arcs. So um the definitions are down here. I'm going to just kind of talk about them, but I'm going to point to this picture. So a semicircle is exactly halfway around, and if I ever want to name a semicircle, I use three letters. So this would be semicircle ACB, or I could call it semicircle BCA. So a semicircle is exactly halfway around, 180 degrees always, and you use three letters to name it. Okay, this is a semicircle also, but I can't actually give it a name because I don't have a third letter to use right here. Okay, the next thing we have is a minor arc. Adam, knock it off. A minor arc is less than halfway around. So this would be less than halfway around, and to name a minor arc, you only use two letters. So arc AC is a minor arc. Arc CB would be a minor arc because they're less than halfway around and you only use two letters to name them. Okay, another thing about a minor arc. The minor arc, the measure of it is whatever the central angle is that it's connected to. So if I wanted to know what the measure of this arc was, it would be whatever this angle right here is. If I wanted to know what the measure of arc CB is, it would be whatever this angle is right here. Okay, and then a major arc is greater than a semicircle. A greater arc is more than halfway around a circle and you have to use three letters to name it. So C, A, B. That would be a major arc be because it's more than halfway around the circle and you have to use three letters to name it. I also could have called that B, A, C. Okay, and then, yeah, and we, there's others. CBA is another major arc, which is completely different than the first one that I mentioned, because CBA is from here to here, whereas CAB was from here to here. So those are completely two different um, arcs. So coming down here, this just talks about um, their measures a little bit. Arc TRS is a semicircle, so I know it's exactly 180 degrees. Arc RS, this is a minor arc because it's less than halfway around a circle. Remember, you only use two letters for a minor arc. And it's going to be whatever the measure of angle RPS is. And then over here, arc RTS, R to T to S. That's this guy right here. This is a major arc because it's more than halfway around a circle. You have to use three letters to name it. And I could do this a couple ways. This says I could take 360 if I wanted to know what the measure was and subtract what this piece is. Does that make sense that that would give you that part right there? Yes. Okay, or if I knew what arc RT was and I knew what arc TS was, I could just add those two arcs together. 
Seem easy enough? All right. Let's just um, practice naming some stuff a little bit. Okay. So looking at this picture, and I'm not saying we have to name all of them because there's a bunch. But if I wanted to name a minor arc, AD would be considered a minor arc. It's from here to here. That's less than halfway around a circle. I do only use two letters to name it. Can you um, see another minor arc? C. Okay, CE is another minor arc. It's less than halfway around. I only use two letters to name it. AC, that's less than halfway around. I do use two letters to name it. There's more than that. Let's just stop right there. You understand what a minor arc is? Yes. Okay, a semicircle. This is exactly halfway around a circle. What do you think? A-E. Um, except for you got to give me three letters. A-E. No, not the P. It has to be A-E. A-C-E. A-C-E. Okay, so A-C-E. That would be fine. There's another one. A-D-E. A-D-E is this semicircle right here. A-D-E. <coughs> what did you say? D-E-C is another one as well. This is different than the other two that we named. D-E-C. Okay, so to name a semicircle, you need to use three letters, and it's exactly halfway around. Okay, just so you kind of um, have the gist. Okay, a major arc is more than halfway around, and I want to make sure it has the letter um, A in there. So can you give me a major arc, one that's more than halfway around that has the letter A? A-C-D. A-C-D. Mm-hmm. A-C-D would be this guy right here, from A to C to D, which is definitely more than halfway around. A to C to D. Give me another one. What's a different uh, arc? D be- to C to E. Does that have A in it? D to A. That's fine. It it does go through the um, A, so we could we could call that. Now this thing, this arc right here, you could either call it D A E or you could call it D C E. It wouldn't matter if it was D A E or D C E. They're the they're the same arc. Well, yeah, but it contains the A. Even if I call it D C E, it does contain the A. So I don't care if you call it D A E. Or we could have called that one DCE. They're the same arc. Okay, let's move on. Okay, adjacent arcs. These are two arcs that are next to each other. If I wanted to know what the measure of arc ABC was, then I could add the arc of AB to the arc of BC together, and that would give me from A to B to C. So that's kind of like some things that we've done in the past. All right, here we go. Let's try Number one, if I want to know what the measure of arc BC is, what would you tell me? 32. Mm -hmm. It's whatever that central angle is. So since that central angle is 32, so is the arc. Okay. What do you think the measure of arc BD is? 90. 90. From B to D, that would be this angle right here, right? That's the central angle. And that's 32 plus 58, which is 90. Does everybody see it? Okay. A to B to C. 180. That's exactly halfway around a circle. So that's our semicircle there. Okay. Arc AB. Anybody have a suggestion how I could figure out arc AB? Because it's not just right there in front of my face. Gavin, how about you? Okay, thank you, Masha. So, halfway around the circle is 180, and if I subtract the 32, that gives me my missing piece. How much is that? 158. 148. Okay, arc C, D, A. 180. Okay, everybody take a second, try number six. I'm going to draw a stick. What? 
Here, I'll just I'll bring him to you. I found it. I found you can be my my stick girl. Tommy, Tommy, right here. Gavin. Gavin. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You know what would be even more awesome than giving me the correct answer? Doing it when I ask you to do it. I was, then you called on me. Really? So what happened for the first minute before Cooper drawed your name? You were trying to find the right page. Okay, so no, I'm just I'm picking on Gavin, but he's not the only one guilty because there's a lot of you in here. I'll ask you to do a problem and you don't do it. I want everyone to try it, and then we see if you get it right or if you get it wrong. The whole luck of the the <coughs> stick, we never know who that's going to be. Andrew, what's the problem? I was to well, Gavin already did. Oh, you did. Yeah, he said it was 270. So if I wanted to know what arc BAD was, do you agree it's almost all the way around? So I could take 360, which is what it is all the way around, and subtract this piece that we didn't go, and this piece that we didn't go is 90, and that does make 270. So I want all of you, whenever I ask you to do a problem, I want you to do it right then. Not a minute later, not two minutes later, not never. I want you to try it right then and there, because I want to see if you can do it or not. If your name gets drawn, your name gets drawn. If your name doesn't get drawn, it doesn't get drawn. But I want you always to see if you can do it. Okay, let's try some more. Okay, arc XY. 96. Mm -hmm. I add the 56 to the 40, so 96. Okay, D to X to M. Hey, Cooper, draw a stick. I'm going to see if um, somebody can help me. Find D to X to M. Autumn Parker. What could I do? Everyone else stop talking. How could I get from D to X to M, Autumn? What do you think I could do? Okay, do you know from here to here? Do you know what it is from here to here? 180. 180. What is it from here to here? 56. So what would I do to get from all the way from here to here? Mm -hmm. I add them. 180 plus 56. Does that make sense? Okay. So that 56 plus that 180. Okay. And what do we get if we add the 180 to the 56? 236. Now, I'm not saying that's the only way to have done it, but it's a pretty easy way. Okay. X to Y to M. Arc X, Y, M. Mm -hmm. 180. It's exactly halfway around. So 180. Okay. Number four. D to X all the way to Y. D to X all the way to Y. Cooper, can you draw me a stick and I'm going to ask somebody for some advice. I don't know if I put you in there. I'm thinking maybe I haven't. Christian, you've been answering these. What do you think? D to X to Y. Mm -hmm. How'd you get that? Yeah. D to X to Y is almost all the way around the circle except for that 40. So 360 minus 40, and that makes 320. Okay, I want you guys to try 5, 6, 7, and then um, we'll draw 3, 6. So everybody, try 5, try 6, try 7. I'll give you a few moments to do that, and then some 6 can be drawn. Five, six, and seven. Try them all.
Oh, hey, Marco, they did take a quiz yesterday. Yes, and I meant to bring it down to you, and I just, I forgot, so. And it'd be more helpful if I colored on my picture. I just thought it'd get too messy if I kept doing that for all the art. Are we ready? Okay, Cooper, give me a stick. Tristan, number five. From W, or sorry, from Y to W to X. Not quite. What did you do to get the 270? Uh, no, it's 264. How do you know? What did you do? Because I subtracted 96 from 360. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the way around the circle except for that part right there. So 360 minus 96. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, and that makes 264. Very nice. Okay, number six. Oh, he's gone today. Okay, Landon, number six. 84. So X to W is 84. How did you get your 84? Uh, because W to Y is one eight. Yes. Yeah, you would take 180 minus the 96. Does that make sense to everybody? From here to here is 180, and I would subtract that 96, and that gives me that piece, which is 84. Oh, one thing I wanted to, uh, wanted to suggest, once you find what an arc is, feel free to put it in your picture. So like earlier, you know, when we found, well, I guess there was no other little one that we found, but if you ever find a little tiny arc and it's not marked up in the picture, put it in the picture. It might be helpful. Okay, and another stick for um, number seven. Angelica. Angelica. 140. Let's see here. W to M to D. It's not 140. Is it 320? Not quite. Heather? It's 220. That's what I meant to say. What is it from here to here? 180, and this is what? Yeah. 40. So I could add 180 and 40. That's one way of getting my answer of 220. Another way is I could take 360, which is all the way around, and subtract that part right there. Did anybody do 360 minus that part right there? Because you could have done that, which would be 360 minus 140, and you'd get the same answer. Okay, how do you feel about the arcs? You okay with these? Yes. Okay, I just want to go down to the, the bottom two problems because um, this is slightly different. Okay, number one wants me to find the measure of angle QAM. If I wanted to know what this angle is, QAM, I need to know something about X, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you see <coughs> some kind of equation that I could set up? Cooper? 8x plus 9x plus 19x equals 180. Yes. So he said 8x plus 9x plus 19x makes 180. Does everybody agree that those three arcs there make up 180 degrees? Yes. Okay, so that's what I want to do. I want to do the 8x plus the 9x plus the 19x, that all of those three make 180. Okay, what do we get if we combine our x's? 36. 36x. And then I would divide by 36, and that would give me how much? Five. Five. Okay. Once I know X is five, I can figure out what el whatever else I need. So angle QAM would be how much? Forty. Because all I have to do is put the five and the X. Eight times five makes 40 degrees. Okay. And if I wanted to find the measure of angle RAO, it's 45. Who said that? How do you know, Autumn? Yeah, 
If you put 5 in this X right here and get that this one's 45, this one's 45, because what kind of angles are these? They're, they're vertical they're angles. angles. And vertical angles are always congruent. Okay, first lesson down, and then we're going to start a second. Well, like I said, everybody else taught this yesterday. Are we gonna have but me. You're going to have two assignments, but I'm going to um, cut them. It won't be overwhelming. Okay. So, this is page 16, Circles and Arcs, Part 2, page 16. Everybody there? Okay, Andrew, can you stop talking, please? You were. Don't argue with me. Just stop. Okay, circumference. This is the distance around a whole circle. We do have these two formulas that we can use. It doesn't matter which one we use. What we're doing today in this part of the lesson is finding arc length. And what that means is it's the distance around a piece of the circle. If everybody could kindly listen, it's just so much easier if you just listen. If I wanted to know how far it was from here to here, not how many degrees it is, that's what we just did. We just figured out how many degrees this arc was, and it's whatever this angle was. But if I wanted to know the arc length, the length from here to here, the distance from here to here, that is a fraction of the circle's circumference. Because circumference is the distance all the way around. If I wanted to know just the distance from here to here, it's just a portion of that circumference. So there is a difference between what we just did, finding a measure of an arc, versus arc length, which is the distance from here to here. Okay? So they are two separate things. The way we're going to do this is by setting up a proportion. I've taught this um, other ways. But most students tend to like proportions a lot, so that's how we're going to do it. So let me explain this formula here. If I want to find the length of arc AB, I'm going to start by setting up this proportion. I'm going to take the measure of this little arc over how many degrees in a whole circle, and then I'm going to talk about the length of this arc, which is what I really want to know, and compare that to the length around a whole circle. And the length around the whole circle has a special name called circumference. So just talking about this, the measure of arc AB, that's the little guy. I'm comparing it to the whole circle. That's a 360. Then I want to find the arc length of the little guy, and I'm comparing it to the length around the whole circle, which is circumference. Does the proportion make sense to you? It's kind of like little piece over whole circle. Little piece over whole circle. So I start with the measure of the arc, and I compare it to the 360. And then I'm going to talk about the length of the arc compared to the length around the whole circle, which is circumference. And then that's all I did here was I changed circumference to 2 pi r, but it also could be pi d. Okay, so for all of these problems, because I'm trying to find the length of a certain arc, I will need to know the length around the whole circle at some point. I will need to know circumference. So on this first one, do you want to use 2 pi r or pi d? Pi d. Pi d. So what is the diameter for this picture? 16. 16. So my circumference is 16 pi. Okay. So if you're ever trying to find the length of an arc, the length around a piece of a circle, you will need to know the length around the whole circle, which is called circumference. So let's start with our proportion. Number one wants me to find the length of arc XY. So this guy right here is arc XY. I'm going to start with how many degrees it is. How many degrees is arc XY? 90. 90. And I'm going to compare that to how many degrees in a whole circle. How many degrees in a whole circle? Okay. Then I'm going to go to what the length of this arc is. That's what I don't know. So I'm going to call that X. And I'm going to compare it to the length around the whole circle. And the length around the whole circle is the circumference. And what did we just say that that was? 16 pi. 16 pi. And how do you solve proportions? Cross, multiply, and divide. We're not going to use the pi button. Completely ignore the pi, and we'll just leave all of our answers in terms of pi. So in the calculator, I'm going to take the 90 times the 16. Mm -hmm. And then I would divide by the 360. 
and I get 4. And all I have to do is put the pi back behind my 4. And then that's leaving our answer in terms of pi. So if I put in the calculator 19 times 16 pi and, you know, worked it out that way and divided by 360, I would get 12.5663, etc. Well, let me just put 4 pi in my calculator and see if that's the same thing. It is. So if you, you know, if you want to put it in terms of pi, you can do it like how I did it. Just ignore the pi till the very end. If you want a decimal answer, you can just take the 90 times the 16 pi and divide by 360. But I think this answer is fine. Okay, because we're finding the length of just this piece, this is just in inches. Okay, let's look at number two. I'm trying to find the length of an arc, so I know I'm going to need to know circumference. Do you want to use 2 pi r or pi d? Okay, if I use pi d, what is the diameter? 30. 30. 15 is the radius, so 30 would be the diameter because that's all the way across. So the circumference is 30 pi. Okay, so let's set up our proportion. This one wants to know the length of arc x, p, y. x to p to y. So I'm going to start with the measure of that arc. What's the measure of that arc? 240. Everybody good with that? Okay, and I compare that to how many degrees in a whole circle, which is 360. Okay, then I want to know the length of this arc. That's what I don't know, so I'm going to call that x. And I'm going to compare it to the length around the whole circle, which is called circumference. And would we just find that to be? 30 pi. 30 pi. Okay, take a second, cross, multiply, and divide. Just don't put the pi in, and we'll just put the pi um, in our answer when we're all done. What do you get? 20. And don't forget to put the pi back behind it because there's a big difference between 20 versus 20 pi. Because 20 is just 20 and 20 pi is 62.8. So make sure you don't forget about the pi. And then this one would be in centimeters. Does this seem easy enough? Okay. So I would like you to try one real quick. I want you to try... Let's... Try number four. Take a second and try number four. Is Craig being a bully? Yes. No. Don't be a bully, Craig. Yeah, Craig. Nobody likes bullies. Uh, uh, do you need to show you my homework? Yeah, sure. Uh, um, this is the first one. Okay. And then, uh, which one is Yep, that's the second one. Okay. 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 Right. And then the quiz was over those two. Okay. And you can use that yellow foldable I gave you. Do you yeah. still have it? Yeah, I still have it. Because I let him use it. Okay. Um, and just give me a decimal. You can. It's just almost all my answers I have in terms of pi. So, like, if you wanted to know if you were right, you can. I'm not saying that, you know, it has to be the other way. Yeah. Okay. Cooper's going to draw a stick, and I want to hear the proportion. Craig. Craig. I want to hear your proportion for finding the length of arc AC. Uh, 120 over 36. Good. 120 over th uh, 360. Did everybody have that part fine? And then X over, what did you say? 24 pi. Because our circumference is 24 pi. And then um, draw me a new stick. Zach, 8 pi, and then this would be in feet. Okay, so I'm going to give you a, a two-part assignment. 
So right. the first part, let's go to page, well, th this is over what I just got done teaching. So go to page 20, and I'm going to have you do, ignore those little circles. I'm going to have you do the, the 3, 4, 5, and 6. So on page 20, I want you to do the 3, 4, 5, and 6. So four problems there. Okay, and then let's backtrack. Let's go back to page 14. So back to page 14, starting with number 6. And these went really fast. I'm going to have you do 6 through 22 even. So 6 through 22 even. Yeah, but those go really fast, those kind of problems right there. You're just finding the measures of the arcs. So on page 14, starting with number 6, you'll do 6 through 22 even. <laughs> so 13 problems all together. No big deal. Yeah. This, this is over the first lesson. The one I just taught? Yeah. That was um, on page 20, what? the 3, 4, 5, and 6. <laughs> Thanks, Cooper. 